If you follow my channel, you know I review a lot of business-focused laptops, whether it be from the ThinkPad line from Lenovo, whether it be the Latitude line from Dell, or the EliteBook line from HP. And that's exactly what I have here today, a new offering from HP that I've been looking forward to getting my hands on. So when I got into the studio, I quickly put it through its paces. It's the HP EliteBook 840, G7, and I gotta say, I've been super impressed with its all metal build, the built-in LTE, the beautiful full HD display, the overall great build quality, and great battery life. We'll get into all of that and more in this video. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP EliteBook 840 G7, here for 2020. Coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be alerted every time I upload a new video and make sure you follow me on my social media. I post a lot of updates on those platforms and why not check out our discord server? It's a great place for us to hang out and talk tech. Link will be in the video description below. And today's video is brought to you by all the members who contributed this month to the channel. Want to become a member? Hit that join button below. And in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own and no one is seeing this video before its release. This review unit was provided by HP and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing starts at $1349 US that gets you a Core i5, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD storage, full HD display that gets as bright as 250 nits. Well, the unit that HP sent me is better. It's got the Core i7-10810U, it's got 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD storage, it's got a 400 nit full HD display, it also has a built-in LTE, we'll get into that a little bit later, and that comes in at $2,000. $199 US. I'll put the link below for more information and where you can buy it. And by the way, I also have the HP EliteBook 830G7 that has a 13.3 inch display. I'll be doing a separate video on that very soon. And with pricing and specs out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Inside the box is some documentation, warranty information, and yes, that warranty is for three years. I like to see that. You get a pretty compact USB-C power adapter that has a braided cord that will help prevent snagging and breaking, and that's pretty good. You also get your extension cord. Holding the unit for the first time, very premium, very high-end with its all-metal build. I like the EliteBook sleek looks. This is a very high-end device. And at 2.95 pounds or 1.34 kilograms, it's 10% lighter than last year's model. The build is excellent and it's also very durable. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We'll start off on the left side. We get a Kensington lock port, two USB-A ports, any 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and the optional smart card reader. Moving over to the right side, you get your SIM tray for the optional LTE. My review unit has LTE. We'll get into that in just a little bit. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports, an HDMI port for display out, and finally a power port if you get a power adapter that uses a barrel pin connector. My review unit has that USB-C power adapter as I discussed earlier. One thing you'll notice that's missing is a micro SD card slot or a full size SD card slot. You don't get it on this laptop. Now, as far as user upgradability is concerned, HP makes it pretty easy to get inside this laptop, loosen the Phillips head screws, pop off the bottom plate, and you're in. Now, once inside, you'll notice that there are a lot of things that you can upgrade on this. The Wi-Fi card is Wi-Fi 6. It's socketed in. You can upgrade that. It's also a Bluetooth 5 combo. It's all working well so far. Now, it also has two RAM slots that are slotted in. That means you can upgrade it yourself. I like to see that. That's really good. And it also has an SSD slot that you could change out to expand for more storage. Again, user accessible as well. Now, my review unit has the LTE module in it. So therefore, I'm always connected no matter where I am. I will always have a nice secure connection. And I like that convenience and security that it does provide. 
My review unit has a 14 inch non-touch full HD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. It's a non-glossy matte display so you don't get any unnecessary glare or reflections. It's got a really nice deep black, so some really good white points, good contrast, good viewing angles. It also has pretty good color accuracy and it also covers the color gamut pretty well. 98% sRGB, 74% Adobe RGB, 74% of the P3 wide color gamut and 68% percent NTSC making this a good choice for those creative professionals that do Lightroom Photoshop and of course video editing you got pretty slim bezels on the side and on the top and you also have a little bit of a chin on the bottom not to pronounce pretty good for a business focused laptop now that top bezel houses an infrared webcam. That means you can log in with face recognition. Let's take a look at that webcam in a little bit more detail. So this is the front facing camera on the HP EliteBook 840 G7 here for 2020, uh, 720p, 30 frames per second webcam, infrared webcam, meaning you can log in with face recognition with Windows Hello. I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. And you also get a physical shutter switch to turn off the webcam, and that's pretty good. Gives you more security and privacy. And in addition to the Windows Hello camera, you also get a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard on the right side, working very well, registering my finger each and every time I used it. All right, let's talk about the keyboard. I'm actually a big fan of the keyboard. I like its tactile feedback. I like the decent key travel. It also has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. You also get a glass precision touchpad with physical mouse buttons that works really well. Two finger scrolling is buttery smooth. All the Windows 10 gestures work as advertised. And you also get a track point. That's a great way to navigate through the OS. I'm a big fan of the track point on ThinkPads. I'm also a fan of it here on the Elite Book line. It's been pretty good. All right, let's talk battery life. What we're looking at here is a 53 watt hour battery and it did 11 hours and 52 minutes on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits, giving it all day battery life, something I like to see on a business focused laptop. This doesn't disappoint. Now they do give you a 65 watt USB-C power adapter in the box, at least with my review unit, and it took only an hour and a half to give you a full charge, which is excellent in terms of charging. Now, the speakers have been surprisingly good. They're Bang & Olufsen branded speakers, so you're going to get some pretty decent sound. It's an improvement over the last generation. It gets louder, a little bit more bass, a little bit better mids. I think they did a nice job on terms of these speakers. Fills up the room pretty nicely. From NVIDIA. A lot of good things here, a lot of things we got to talk about. That's all coming up right now. Hey, everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP Omen 15 with the AMD Ryzen 7 processor, coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. This way you'll be able Okay, let's talk about performance. And remember, this is a business-focused laptop. You're going to want to do things like Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, and the like. And it performed those tasks really well. Good PC Mark 10 score. And that's a pretty good indicator of everyday kind of use with this laptop. Good for consuming media, watching Netflix, YouTube, and the like. No problems. Now, when it comes to gaming and more processor-intensive tasks, this is not a gaming laptop. I don't think I need to reiterate that over and over. I think you pretty much know that. It's got integrated graphics on this the uhd graphics are not going to compare to something with a discrete gpu having said that you can play some older titles if you lower the settings but don't expect to play AAA titles on their highest settings this just can't handle it it's not meant to do those kind of things having said that there are two thunderbolt 3 ports on this you can add an external gpu so if you want to go that route you have that option although it will add to the cost of this laptop now, I wanted to test to see if it had any thermal throttling. As far as the stress test is concerned, when I ran the Prime 95, we saw that the CPU would start boosting to about 3.5 to 3.7 gigahertz range only for a few seconds, and then it'll hit a core temperature of 95 degrees Celsius. Once it hit that ceiling, then the clock rates would drop to about 1.9 to 2 gigahertz in order to maintain a cooler core temperature of 68 degrees Celsius. Now, one thing to note, running on battery power did not limit performance in any way. You get pretty much the same result. Now, as far as surface temperatures were concerned, it was largely symmetrical with certain hotspots near the keyboard center, and that's pretty much it. It would stay relatively cool in all other areas. 
Okay, to bring it all home, can I recommend the HP Elite Book 840 G7 here for 2020? And the answer is yes, I really like this business focused laptop. I like its bright, sharp, full HD matte display. I like the premium all metal design, the durable design. I like that 4G LTE option, especially for the business traveler. I like that good audio quality for this laptop. I was really surprised on how good the audio is. I wasn't expecting that. I like its user upgradability in terms of the RAM, SSD, Wi Fi. It's all user upgradable. I like the comfortable keyboard, the touchpad, the track point. It all worked well. Negatives here, no SD card reader, no micro SD card reader either, no discrete GPU, no Intel Iris Plus graphics. You just get the standard integrated graphics, not the best in that regard. But when it's all said and done, HP has definitely delivered on an excellent business focused laptop with great battery life, great design, great display, and overall great looks. I think they've hit a home run. So what do you think about this bad boy, the Elite Book 840 G7 here for 2020? Premium build, great battery life, good performance, really beautiful display. And I gotta say, they hit a home run and far as I'm concerned, it is a great laptop for the business user. I like the fact that you're getting pretty much all day battery life. You won't have to plug in if you're a road warrior. You got the LTE. That's one option that I absolutely love on laptops, especially when this pandemic is over. We're gonna do more traveling. You'll be able to take this with you on the go. You don't have to worry about Wi-Fi spots or hotspots anywhere that are not secure. You got something a little bit better where it's built in and you got a great connection everywhere you go. And I like having that convenience and that ability, again, everywhere you go. Now, as far as the performance, Core i7 V Pro 10th Gen, it's working pretty well for things like Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, it all worked well. Consuming media, working well, Netflix, YouTube, it looks good with that 14 inch full HD display. It's a non-touch display. There is a touch variant that you can get on this. I have the non-touch matte display so you don't get any unnecessary glare reflections, which as you know, I love. Now, as far as the price is concerned, it starts at around 1300 or so dollars. You could probably get it on sale if you keep checking the websites, of course, I'll put the latest pricing in the link below. But this unit that I have is about 21, 2200, maybe even 2300. Again, check the website. Those prices may vary depending on a sale. So check it out. Not the cheapest, of course, but then again, you're paying for a premium business focused laptop. Pretty similar to what you get with the ThinkPad line, pretty similar to get what you get with the Latitude line. So again, price competitively with its competitors. I'm a big fan of the Elite Book, and I think it's something you might want to consider whether you're a business user or even a consumer. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.